parallel so, agreement. Here I am, 500. and I'm flying in about 70, but, and, and, and that's pretty much pretty close to normal pattern speed for this airplane. Yeah. Right. I'm going to turn right here, say I'm going to turn base to final here. And I got the great idea that I'm not turning rapidly enough, so I'm just going to add a little bit of rudder here. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Right? Yeah! I'm going to turn and right here, so I'm going to turn base to final here. And I got the great idea that I'm not turning rapidly enough, so I'm just going to add a little bit of rudder here. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Right? Yeah! And did you see, obviously close to the ground, right? This is, yes. um, don't have enough rear speed. But the important thing to note there is that it didn't have any, any whatsoever of the characteristics that we have in the Balls of Practice in the FAA curriculum. No? The nose was not high. It didn't take a really a lot of effort to get into the stall. And also, there was not a lot of warning. The airplane sort of blew, oh. and all of a sudden, boop, that nose dropped. Oh, yeah. So that basically, again, goes to what we talked in the ground class, that we, especially close to the ground, we really need to be aware of our AOA, which by proxy in small airplane is our airspeed and load factor. Yes. Yes. So, great.